What's going on guys? Joey Franzo here with Flex Training Systems. Been meeting to make this video for a couple days now. Um, so let's get right into it. What am I talking about today? Today we are talking about calling audibles in training. Um, so last Friday, so about a week ago, I went into the gym and um, for the last seven weeks, I had been gaining a considerable amount of momentum. Uh, I hit 545 for eight, uh, and then 555 for six, 565 for five, six. And I, you know, every week I kept increasing and then I uh, got up to 585 for five, uh, which I'm very happy with, especially, you know, 20 pounds down from where I was at the Arnold. Um, and I knew that coming into uh, that session, especially because my deadlifts uh, on the previous Monday, so four days before, um, uh, they were not bad. I'm still hitting like way more than I had been hitting in any other training cycle. Um, I was like, all right, you know, what? I'll probably be a little beat up today. Uh, I also, you know, in the middle of the week, I'd hit high bar squats, uh, which is a pretty good indicator of... Um, like depending on how that day, like if I'm strong on Wednesday, I'll probably be strong on uh, Friday. And it's important in the middle of the week, especially for those of you that work for with me, um, that I have doing things, you know, if we train lower three times a week or bench three times a week, I say it that way because we have to remember that, uh, you know, deadlift is using similar, it, it's using glutes, which is the primary mover. Um, so you're hitting them three times a week. Um, Obviously, deadlift is more posterior chain and squatting uh, is still posterior chain, but you're getting more uh, anterior knee flexion. Um, but yeah, so we have to keep that in mind. So you don't want to overdo it in the middle of the week. Think of the middle of the week as kind of like a, a way to get some extra muscle protein synthesis. Um, we are, well, for the most of you guys, we are natties and we need to continually stimulate muscle growth um, and, and incite recovery, um, or illicit recovery. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, middle of the week was iffy. So I was like, I'm going to feel like shit Friday, Friday rolls around. And, um, I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what inspired my decision. And then what's been going on outside of me and just in the community, scientific community in general. Uh, so I told myself I'm gonna work up to 555, um, and if I smash it and I feel good, uh, I'll just go up to 595 and continue my progression. Uh, I probably would have just done triples, because um, I had been doing fives for so long. Uh, but 555 was like it moved fine, but it did not feel good at all, um, and my right hip you know, was talking to me a little bit earlier than it should. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm not happy with that. I can't hit that for, you know, I'm not going to even hit this for five. Uh, so I just dropped it back down, literally all the way down to, I think I did a three, a three by three with uh, 455. And then I worked up to like 495 and then that was it. And then I went home. Um, so, you know, that's the option B. Uh, and recently... There has been a lot of data to support, uh, you know, having option A, option B, um, or just training with some kind of, uh, you know, auto regulation. So, uh, you know, getting into programming a little bit, if anybody, like I can write good programs. I, I'm very proud of the training that I put out. I'm very proud of the results that I get with my guys. Um, uh, you know, it's proven itself time and time again. And uh, just, like having like I can't like I I can do a good job based on the information that I have but if there's no way off my first try like if I don't know anything about you um, that I'm gonna write the perfect program no one can do that nobody knows you you know what's everything that's going on in your life how much sleep you're getting um, you know to give you the exact perfect workout for every training session based on everything that's going on in your life it doesn't exist like it's very hard for that to happen um, and for the most part, the body, you know, the cool thing about the body is like, you don't have to be super duper precise. You just have to kind of push it in one direction. 
uh, and it will start moving that way. Um, so, you know, to ha having auto regulation in there lets the lifter and, you know, me as a coach kind of fine tune things uh, for the scenario. Uh, so if I give someone, you know, anything at an RPE, basically, uh, they're going to be able to go in uh, and take what they can for the day. Um, as opposed to, you know, trying to stick to a set percentage and kill themselves. Um, which, in general, I think even if you're using percentage-based training, um, you should not, like, you could try to hit that number, but if it's not there, then, you know, drop it back and hit what you can hit. Um, and even within that, even with RPE, you can still do a little more than you should be, uh, where you have fatigue bleeding over into other sessions, um, which we want and we don't want it. You want to like, there's like a fine line to ride. Uh, but you guys don't have to think about that, uh, especially if you're working with me. I'm just, you know, I, this happens to me all the time. I'll be in the gym and somebody will come up to me. It's so weird. People will come up to me and be like, hey man, can I ask you a question? They don't even introduce themselves and they just be like, how do I taper? <laughs> so for those people, like, I don't know anything about you, but hopefully I can give you something in these videos. That's what this whole fucking channel is about. Um... Uh, you know, to, just to help, to help people get ideas and, and better make decisions, even if they do have, you know, even if they are working under me, um, make better decisions when they are on their own. Um, you know, cause obviously I'm not there for every session, um, like to tell them exactly what to do. Uh, but yeah, it's okay to call an audible. Don't be afraid to call an audible if, you know, you are on the fence, um, with like you know what numbers you should hit or you're not feeling it today adjust the weight uh there's nothing there's no shame in that and uh, you have to look at the big picture and realize that it's not one session that makes you better it's many sessions uh over time um, a lot of more experienced even bodybuilders will kind of have that already uh because they aren't really focusing so much on uh like in powerlifting we focus on like numbers 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 and that's one of the great thing about powerlifting is that you can actually see the number on the bar go up which is encouraging and motivating um whereas like in bodybuilding you don't really care too much about the weight i mean you do but at the same time you're going for more of like a feeling and, and, and like if you're training for higher intensity you're pushing rp nines and tens uh and if you're just trying to build up a lot of volume you know which is what uh you know more uh, conventional i would say natural bodybuilders are starting to do I mean, everybody has their own style, but like not going to failure will allow you to hit more sets, which can lead to more growth. Um, and, and they're just kind of going by feel. And I think us powerlifters can definitely learn from bodybuilders. I mean, I think they've been, you know, auto regulation has been something that if you talk to like, you know, any of the great bodybuilders of the past, something that they've been doing, it's nothing new. Um, so I just wanted to leave you guys with that today. So, so, you know, don't be afraid to go in and call the audible. Uh, when I was working with Grant Higa, some of you guys know him as the Higa monster. Dude is an absolute legend. Been lifting longer than I've been alive. I did his uh, nationals prep, I think the last 16 or 12 weeks leading into it. And uh, had a really great experience. Uh, he ended up winning his class and going to world. So mission accomplished. Uh, he, you know, he, he had a crazy schedule. Uh, he would train at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., wake up at 3, you know, to travel and then do a seminar and then compete. Like, the guy is literally all over the place, super fucking busy guy. Um, and especially at his age, you know, uh, being able to auto-regulate and say, you know, hey, Joey, I, I wasn't feeling it today. I had to dial it back a bit here, dial it back a bit there. Or, you know, I had to double up today, whatever. It's okay to call the audible. You got, you know, life, life goes on too. Um, it's not, you know, uh, some of us can just focus on training and some of us have to get it in where we can. Uh, I mean, the guy's got a wife and kids, a very busy man. So, you know, I totally understand. And, 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 uh, like I said, he's, he's a, he's a legend. The guy's been lifting forever. So he knows his body. He knows when he can push. He knows when to chill, to chill out. And the cool thing is we didn't really go that heavy except until like the last two weeks maybe. Um, and then on meet day he smashed. Uh, and and uh, especially on bench, which like 
for him to be able to see a lift come up, um, you know, as late in the game as he is, it's, uh, I don't think it was an all-time PR, but like year, he hadn't hit it something like that for a couple years, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, that's a separate video. Um, yeah, guys, call your audibles if you have to. Uh, otherwise, stick to RP. You don't kill yourself. Um, if you guys have any questions on this topic, I suppose you could leave them in the comments below. Um, been getting quite a few uh, questions lately just on miscellaneous things, so I might make some individual videos just kind of like expanding. Um, I'm not really too... Uh, like, I don't really like going in depth on things on, you know, Facebook or, or typing or whatever just because it's like you can't hear, hear my mannerisms so you don't really know uh, how, how I feel and I might come off a certain way. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. Really quick before I go, if you made it this far, thank you very much. I love you. Gonna do some uh, shilling, I suppose. Literally for like two days two more days uh my shirts and my clothing is going to be available <sighs> to everyone who has already picked something up i appreciate you uh more than i can express on this video this is by far the biggest order i think we've ever had nationals is coming up so if you guys are competing there you want to rep those uh the a7 collaboration shirts go ahead and uh you know hit the link down below other than that uh, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.